Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday morning, 30 minutes to go until the opening bell. And we got markets in positive territory, quite a volatile overnight session. You had Mr. Peter Navarro throwing quite a wrench into things on Fox News as he said the phase one deal was over with China. But he didn't really mean it, folks. So the president came out 15, 30 minutes later uh, and clarified. It's pretty unfortunate when you got to clarify your chief negotiator's words. They're usually supposed to be pretty good with their words. And guess what? Not the case last night. Markets freak out and trade from 3120 down to a low of 3060. You lose about 2% in a half hour. We get it all back as President Trump clarifies and says phase one deal with China. It's still intact and the market actually trades higher. 3142, you got the S&Ps positive by 31 points right now. NASDAQ NQ is looking to open at all-time highs, up 70 points at 10,195. On those comments last night, you actually traded under 10,000 briefly. The Dow up 285. We were down below 25,600 last evening. Right now, trading 26,236. You jump over to oil, quite a drop in oil to the tune of about a dollar on Mr. Navarro's comments last night. We trade down to a low at 9 o'clock at about 38 excuse me, 39.80, we're up this morning at 41.42, and you got gold up as well, up $8 at 17.74. Nothing was spared last night, folks. You back it up, even gold sells off last evening. There's your nine o'clock down to 17.58, and now we're trading 17.74. In terms of what else you have happening in the market, that's the headline. Trump says China deal fully intact after Navarro Royals markets. We went over the charts and what was happening there. One of the numbers I just covered in terms of the euro, Trading higher, you get the DAC, DAX, FTSE, Cacarol, all trading higher. Eurozone PMI coming in at 47.5. They were only looking for a number of 42 and change, much bigger than they were looking for. A little bit of optimism for a faster recovery than they were thinking. Now, here's the difference, folks. I want to pull up. It's a This is the Eurozone, right? To give you an idea of what cases look like in the Eurozone, don't be confused when you see something like that and say, oh, everything's calming down. It's really unfortunate, folks, that we couldn't crush this curve, okay? Because this is what the Eurozone curve looks like, and this is what the United States of America curve looks like. Vastly different, and that's going to play out for vastly different effects in terms of Apple closing some stores. Florida, we're getting hit hard right now. And, uh, you know, if you can, folks, wear a mask out there. There's a lot of people in Florida, unfortunately, not wearing masks. I get it, okay? They're not fun. Um, and it's unfortunate, I have to say it political, that the president won't lead from ahead, because that is going to help get this curve down, folks. Stay tuned. Larry Pesavento coming up live with Trade with UC 